<laughs> we're Bo and Brandy, and we just spent six weeks here in Curacao doing some pretty hefty work to our 50-year-old sailboat, Sersha. We have worked all around the clock, and even though we aren't quite ready, we are not ready. We're about to get splashed back into the water. But before we set sail to do a shakedown cruise, we have a little secret to share with you. So stay tuned. It's moving day. <laughs> we're not ready. Of course we're not. We're not ready. So it's a mad dash. We still need to paint the bottom, put plastic on the sling, unplug everything, put some lines in. Here we go. It's taking a little bit to get the crane over here. It's a tight situation. Any boat owner knows that this is the most nerve wracking part of being out of the water, getting put back in. It is official. We're in the water. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't really tape a lot because... It was chaos. And it was just Bo and I helping get us in. And then we had another gentleman help us get into this... Um, rinky dink dock. <laughs> janky... Yeah. <laughs> janky dock. It, it's like a floating... Death trap. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost killed myself a couple times <laughs> on it now. When we were putting Sersha in the water, we had him keep us in the straps so we could check for leaks. I can see it coming out over here. Is that where it normally comes out? It running down? Yeah, down yeah. the, yeah. So that is the rudder post? Yeah. Well, that sucks. And uh, in all the chaos of trying to get her back in the water, I forgot to tighten the centerboard pin bolts. Yeah, but the, their bolts were there. They just weren't tight, tight. So yeah. water did start coming in. There, No water got into the void. But we need to get that plugged up yeah. ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Just, it, it's just been a so of, much. A lot of projects. <laughs> We're a little overwhelmed with whole, how much we needed to get done. I just feel like we, we've just been working and working and working. and. Yeah, we've yeah. been pulling all-nighters yeah. just trying to get this done. We're, we're almost there. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. And then there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Never ends. But hey, that's boat life. Well, I miss all this chaos. I've decided. A mist. <laughs> a mist. A mist. A mist. Among? No, a mist. A mist? A mist? A or mist? mist? I... Among all of this craziness that's going on. Um, I decided to take three of the dogs here um, to the vet today and they're all getting the old snip, snip snip. We can't take any of the dogs with us but what we can do is hope that we can contribute to the non-contribution of extra puppies on island. Every one of the shelters here are completely full. With everything being so full I feel like they have a home here and we have somebody here who is feeding them, so we feel confident in leaving them here, but I wanted to give them a little bit of care before we leave. And again, we want to thank everybody who donated for that, and we're just super appreciative that we can at least give a little bit. I mean, we can't save all the puppies, it's kind of one of our sayings. We can't save all the puppies, but at least we can help a couple. First, we have to go and round up the puppies. But there's one already, so let's introduce you to the gang. Hi. Morning. Oh, look, and there's another one. Good morning. Oh, perfect. They're all here. This guy, and this guy, and this guy are all going. Stay bench. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
they seem to like the car. <laughs> that was so easy. It's taken me about a month and a half to even be able to touch Sparky slash Batman back here. So this actually worked out really well. <laughs> I feel so bad. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. All right, the deed is done. We just dropped him off. I feel so bad. We had to put him in their little kennel. There's more strays here too. It's a really bad issue here in the islands is the Dark. overpopulation. I just got a message from the vet that the puppies are all okay. They are waking up from the anesthesia and I'm going to pick them up and give them some extra cuddles because I feel really bad. But hopefully this will help in the long run, even if it's just three puppies. He's a little more groggy than those two. Oh yeah, can't walk. Yeah, he's a bit. We're all back in the car. Batman's acting like nothing's happened. Right, Sparky? Hi, right, Blake. Yeah. Benji, I think, might be a little bit upset at me. <laughs> and poor Blanco, he's still out of it. I think because he's a little bit bigger, he must have had more anesthesia. Blanco, he's so cute, boy. Got there. Well, very clean dog. What do you think you're doing with him? Well, he may be joining us for a little bit. Did you get prior approval? From the person behind the camera? Yep. Yeah, I think I passed it. I think you passed, huh? <laughs> This is Benji, AKA Danny. I know you guys have seen him around. This guy here doesn't get along with Danny very well. And the rest of them are all a pack and poor little Benji isn't. So we're going to foster him until we get a 100% yes, which means we have to acclimate him to the boat. And that starts now. It's getting heavy love. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> He's light. Yeah. Way compared to Puna Vera. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I don't know how sure he is of this place. What do you think, Benj? <laughs> Still a mess. Oh. Wet puppy. Wet puppy. What do you think, bud? We oh, smells. Do you smell something? Sleep tight, little buddy. <laughs> Good hot and sweaty morning. We have the air conditioning out. We've got to put it away because we're going on a shakedown cruise today. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tiny little island called Klein Curacao, which we're going to head out to. The wind is dying this weekend. Today is the only day that we can go. And we kind of have to do a little bit of a night sail, we think, because we still have a lot to do to pick up Sersha in order to leave. But the first thing I want to do is put up our new signage. And our friend Steven Denise so kindly gave us final stickers to put up. I'm being lazy and I want to see if Brandy can put these on without having to drop the dinghy. Because <laughs> it's just going to take more time. But if she can't do it, then we'll drop the dinghy. And the only problem is, is that we are docked up to the port side of our boat and our stickers go on the stern. So I'm going to have to hang off the back of the boat to put them on. So this should be interesting. <laughs> oh, and our little stowaway is getting very comfy. He's outside right now. 
trying to get him used to being outside for the sale today. Thanks, Steven Denise. Looks good. All right, let's go sailing. Let's go sailing. <laughs> It clicked. Motor test check. Do you remember how to do everything? Ah, it's like riding a bike. <laughs> we have been in the boatyard for six weeks. Six weeks, and today we are breaking free, and we have a stove bay. So we're gonna be fostering Benji until we can get to the USVIs and fly him to. A lucky somebody in the States. And today is a test to see how he likes sailing. Fingers crossed he likes it. Got him a vest. So he's officially a boat dog. <laughs> Put it on him once yeah. we get out there. Yeah. Completely dead tomorrow. It's coming out of the southeast. It's 9 and gusting 13. And right now it's got 12 to gusting 17 coming out of pretty much the east. We're kind of debating on, should we wait until tomorrow to go? But there is literally no wind. That's kind of the reason we decided to go to this little island, because it's pretty exposed. So the lighter the wind during the day, the better. And today is about our only hope to get out there. So we need to go out there and visit it if we're going to. And this is the only time we really have got, because we need to be out of Curacao in the next week and a half two weeks perhaps <laughs> all right the wind is happening all right let's move on out freedom bye bye boatyard all right what's happening We've lost steerage. Yeah, our key fell out that holds the shaft to the quadrant. This is a familiar feeling. Yeah, this happened in the Bahamas, huh? Yep. Alright. At least we know what it is. And this, my friends, is what you call a shakedown cruise. <laughs> shakedown sail. Well, we messed with a bunch of stuff, so... Yeah. Good that we are doing a very short sail today. <laughs> Trying to maybe get a little more security in here. The key is not long enough to fully fit in the channel. I need to make one that's longer so it can't fall out. <laughs> Good idea. I actually had to make this one because the previous one was made of brass and it just wore out. Let's raise the sail and see how it does on their load. Cause it, I don't know, it still might be slipping a little bit. I might have to modify this battery box a little bit once we do get in and shift it forward. It might be in the way. Let's give it a go. Well, I'm steering. It's pointing where I need it to go, so that's good. Got a little helper. Yeah, he's already captaining. Huh, bud. Yes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> well, with the winds and the gust and the really crazy current out here, I mean, it's all over the place right now. We're doing 3-8. We've got the motor running. We're motor sailing. And it's gusting big time. Four knots. Not bad. So we're not really sure if we're going to get to Klein or not. Do you want to try or do you want to just go to Spanish? Go to Foyk. You want to go to Foyk? I guess we can figure it out once we get closer to Spanish. 
second ago. It was saying we we're gonna get in at 4 a.m. So maybe not, but now it's saying 10 p.m. Our buddy's doing really good. All right, Benj? <laughs> this is actually where Una stayed in the very beginning, remember? Yeah. Until she got comfortable. Until she got used to it. Yeah. beam reach, probably 12 knots of wind, going 1.2. Since we just did major work to Sertia, and we're about to do a long passage, it was great to do this shakedown cruise. It really helps us work out what needs more attention. And after being in the boatyard for six weeks, the thought of all the work we put into Sertia became a reality. When we were there, covered in dust and sweat, it seemed like it would never end. But right now, all of that is washing away with the waves and blowing away with the wind. Whoa, <laughs> cruise ship heading right at us. This goes to the emergency tiller for access to put in the emergency tiller, which we don't have. Which we should probably pick up. Which we should. Just wanted to double check, make sure everything looks good. It seems to be responding well. The key basically fits in a little channel on the rudder post. And then there's the second part of the channel in the quadrant. So the key slides in between those two and it locks them together. So when you turn your helm, it'll then go to the quadrant through some pulleys and some cabling. And then that key is what helps turn the rudder post, turning the rudder. So it's really important. And I didn't realize this when we lost steering the first time back in the Bahamas. It took me a while to troubleshoot and figure it out. But now that we've experienced it before, I knew immediately when she lost steering that it was going to be the key. There's something to be said about doing work with our own hands, learning that we can repair anything on Sertia, wherever in the world we are. And with everything that breaks, we'll fix it and then continue on. Because this is our home. Everything that we own is here. And this is the life that we built together.
and this is how the sale ended well thanks so much for watching you guys if you liked that episode be sure to give us a thumbs up and also if you haven't give us a subscribe it really helps our channel and leave a comment we love to see you here and we will see you next week thanks again